very good about this game, just to sort of chat while Brett is grinding away with his brain, um, is that there are no... the only special rules for the first year are basically the setup and that initial attack. Uh, all the rules there are just consistent throughout the game. Um, there's no like kludges to, to keep the Germans under control or anything like that. The rule set is is very consistent on that front and uh, applies to both sides. So it's it's a neat implementation of sort of a of a you know pretty simple rule set with a, with a enough flavour and chrome to sort of give you the right feel about things. Um, and from the games I've played, it is very close. And this is, you know, the other reason why Brett wanted to try and choke out the the south front. There is that one VP can be very important when it comes to sudden death determination um, for victory. Now if you actually look on the, uh, the the victory point track, it actually says um, the Germans can win a sudden death on turn three if they have more than eight victory points. And you get victory points for cities and also for some events um, but it's basically, basically cities and enemy units you can get to surrender so getting a couple of VPs by surrounding the Russians and, and choking them out of supply can decide the game on sudden death Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move the first Panzer into a, to a city. Is that Kiev? Into yes, Kiev. Yes. The third Panzer is gonna move southeast for well, two movement points. I'll give you a VP. You're up to three VPs. So I'll get the marker. I'll mark okay, the city. I'll, I'll do the. Uh, the I'll third Panzer will go into the forest to the south um, west. Move one more to the southwest, then southeast, southeast, east, and end up next to the central front. Yeah, forest is two, isn't it? So that's as far as it can go. Unless he spends a card. The fourth, sixth army will go northeast to in east. The 11th, 18th Army, that 3 4 in the north, will go down southeast, southeast, and put the south out of support. Well, the add fourth a supply army next turn. Yeah. Because don't know, get me any check supply before. Timing I is know. everything. Hold on. Sixteenth Army will move to the south east. The second army will go east east, four east, and then one south east. The fourth Panzer Army will go east southeast into the forest and then southeast. Fourth Army, I'm going to switch these around, Tim, but where the Fourth Army and the Ninth Army are, they're going to be where the Eighteenth, and I'm going to switch them, basically. No, poor little Eighteenth Army. Okay, I'll mark our armies for battle. Target the northwest. Hold on here. Uh, 
target the south. Target the central. Hold on a second here. Yeah. If I don't attack the south and the west, when you do your counter bow, do you place that on one of my units that has to attack? Like, could you place it no, on I the... No, I place it on my unit that you have to attack. You still choose who does the attacking against it. I just, you know, it basically means my guys, don't forget, we ignore uh, terrain on counter blows. So, it, uh... You know, the location can be pretty important there. You're giving up your terrain benefit um, if you if you choose to uh, counter blow the enemy. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to attack the west front. That's my attacks there, Tim. Uh, after I declare my attacks. Do we do blitzes I first or counter blows first? Uh, blitzes are part of combat, so you only actually declare the blitz use when you resolve each combat. So you can sort of always work out what the odds is and then say, okay, I'm going to use a blitz. You don't have to declare them in advance. Okay, I've got two counter blow possibilities here. I'm surprised you didn't attack Odessa in the south. You, didn't, you don't want to attack Odessa in the south? Nope. Because you got two to one, and Odessa will make it what a one to one, and a retreat will kill them. The trouble is, if I if I declare a counter blow there, I lose the benefit of Odessa. So I'm probably not going to do that, and Odessa is still in supply because of the sea supply. Big siege going on. Now, do I want to do a counter blow on the west front? Because if you just use the 16th army to go against the west, you're only going to be at a 1 to 2. You might have to throw in one of your other armies to, to uh, bump up the odds. Let me look at my cards again. Defending forward like this changes things. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a good idea. It's a, it's a new attempt at trying to stave off you bloody Germans. I am going to declare a counter blow against the West Front. Take that. Okay, is that it? Okay, I discarded a card. I got one card left, by the way. You must attack the west front, and we ignore terrain. Here in the open, it doesn't matter the terrain. Okay, let's do the attack against the guy in Kiev, the central front first. It's a four to one. Ye uh, wait, I gotta put my blitz markers down. What yeah, four to one. Oh, four to one with the blitz. No, I, I'm a twenty to five, which is four to one, five to one with the blitz. Oh yeah, I can't see the damn stacks. Hmm. 
But you got 19 strength points, haven't you? Oh, yeah, you're right, 20. Okay, 4 to 1, 5 to 1. Hold on, do I have to place my blitz marker now, or do I wait until I... Do you place them as of combat, right? You determine the strength, you commit any markers and cards, determine the initial ratio, shift it, whatever, then roll the dice. It's before combat. Okay, so it's a 5 to 1 against the central front, right? Yep. Here's my roll. any cards. Okay, 5 to 1. Two, defend a retreat. Shut. Yay! Hold on a second. Is where? Hold on a second. What you talking about, Willis? Hold on just a sec. I'm holding, I'm holding. got a card that allows me to re-roll, Tim, and I'm trying to decide if I should re-roll. Do I feel lucky? You know what? I'm going to re-roll it. Okay. You ditch your card. Do you add that uh, got mittens, is it? Oh, Knight's Cross. Okay. Yeah, that one. Knight's Cross. So I'm going to re-roll it. Here's my re-roll. Better. Four. That is a Defender Shattered. That's okay with me. I'm happy with that. He has to retreat two hexes, which he can do, then he's shattered. First and second panzer will advance into the hex. They'll both go directly um, east. Now they can advance one more or two more? One more, and then one more because they're armored. It's called a multi-hex advance, and then there's the armor bonus because it's in clear weather. The second panzer will go two to the northeast, and the first panzer will go one to the southeast and then one to the east. That's it. Now we're going to do the northeast front. Is that north? Northwest, up north, yeah. We're going to do that one. It's a 3 to 1, up to 4 to 1 because it's uh, my armor bonus, down to 3 to 1 because of the river, up to 4 to 1 because of the blitz. Yeah. 4 to 1, here's my roll. Roll a 5, which is a Defender Shattered. Uh, he retreats two and then goes to the shatter box. Keep on shattering those guys, they come back for free. That's one thing I like about these games the Russians may die, but they come back. It's just whether they come back quick enough. Okay, the fourth panzer. No, the second army will go one to the southeast. I mean, southwest. The fourth panzer will go next to Splints. The second army will go next to Bryansk. Okay, the next attack is going to be the the 16th army and the 9th army are going to attack the west front in Minsk. Do I want to do this one first or the other one? Hold on. Now I'll go to the south attack first. The south attack is... I'm going to go... The 6th Army... 
the 18th Army and the 4th Army. That's 3 to 1. I'm going to use my other blitz marker to make it a 4 to 1 against the South Army. Okay. Here's my roll. Hold a 1. Exchange. Exchange. That was good for me. But you can't retreat. So. No, there's no advance or retreat in an exchange. That saved their bacon. They oh, were going to die right. anyway, but I took a step with you and you didn't get an advance. That exchange was pretty damn good for me. That's probably about the best result I could have got. Okay, then the 16th Army and the 9th Army are going to go up to the West Front. Um, hold on. I will make it automatically a DR result with that card play. No. Cancel the just play card. Cancel your card with my card. <laughs> you pig. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay. So uh, you can't retreat. I poke you in the eye with a sharp stick and you poke me back with a sharper one. Well done. Okay, now when you can't retreat, what does that mean? You're, that doesn't mean you're... It's I don't destroyed. get victory points for that. Do I? It's no, destroyed, it's just though. Destroyed. I don't get the victory. Yeah. And you do your advance after combat, yes. All right, let's do Minsk. I'll give you the VP. No, I'm not going to go into Minsk yet. I'm going to go east, so I haven't taken it yet. Ninth Army, that's not east. Sixteenth Army. You, you gotta be careful, gentlemen. You gotta. I think you ought to take it. Your fourth Panzer, at the moment, is four hexes away from Regia. Your, so he's on the the limit of your supply range. Right. You understand? I got it. I ta I'll take Minsk. You're at the four VPs. I'm not likely to put a unit there anyway. I could bring a unit on in Minsk, but I'm not likely to. You you might as well take it just to uh, give you more options on your supply lines. All right, that's it. Uh, combat phase, resolve, removals, detraining, it's your turn. Okay. Now uh, that was a mixed bag, and that exchange that, that uh, was critical. Okay. Um, I have no cards. I draw four. looking at them a sec. How many cards you got left? Three. You still got three cards. Destroyed units box, one card per unit to come back, or two cards per unit? Destroyed is only one. Oh, surrendered is two. Yeah. But for the Germans, it costs you two cards to bump a step.
I'm regretting putting the southwest in Odessa. You're tied me up there. I think I could have handled that a little better. <laughs> 